Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Hey, we saw the fog uh, roll on in throughout the course of the afternoon. It's become kind of thick out there this evening. Let's take a look at that live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar and we are still quiet. There's no uh, organized areas of showers, but there's a little patchy drizzle, a little mist in some spots and look at that fog looking down from uh, the top of the skyscrapers in downtown Providence. You can see we've got a lot of low cloudiness. Temperature of 44 with a calm wind, relative humidity very high at 96%. Visibility is less than a mile in uh, parts of Rhode Island and southeastern Mass, third of a mile in Smithfield, less than a mile in Taunton. Visibility not too bad. New Bedford out toward parts of Cape Cod and uh, Nantucket, not too bad, but you can see it's kind of patchy here and there. Some of that uh, dense fog, in fact, dense fog advisory in effect for the entire area into tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Temperatures across the region in the 30s in Gloucester and Coventry, 44 Newport, South Kingstown, 44 degrees. I'm expecting the temperatures to maybe fall a couple of degrees and then uh, and hold steady probably throughout the rest of the night. Notice lots of clouds around across the northeast, but really nothing in terms of precipitation. We do have a warm front draped across parts of uh, Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Behind it, we've got some temperatures in the 50s, and those 50s are going to be headed our way for tomorrow. In fact, here we are Sunday morning. The warm front beginning to lift northward. Might find a little uh, drizzle during that time frame. Uh, still lots of fog for the morning. In the afternoon, we're going to be seeing some partial sunshine. Mild temperatures working their way in. Yeah, those 50s will be working their way into parts of southern New England. Let's take a look at it with our uh, uh, temperature future cast. Here we are at 10 o'clock this evening in the 40s across most of the area and pretty much holding steady there. Here we are at 7 o'clock still in the uh, lower 40s. Notice late morning, early afternoon, we're going to be seeing the temperatures jump up to about 50, maybe 53 degrees in some spots and then really holding steady there throughout much of the evening tomorrow evening. This evening, though temperatures falling a little bit holding steady with the areas of dense fog drive extra carefully out there this evening for your Sunday morning still looking at that fog hanging around but by late in the morning likely by 10 o'clock or so 9 10 o'clock maybe a little glimmer of sun the fog beginning to lift temperatures will slowly begin to climb through the 40s and then jumping into the low 50s during the early afternoon east side around 53 degrees on over to Barrington and Warwick low 50s with the winds in the afternoon from the southwest 5 to 10. Wickford 51, maybe a little bit cooler with the south coast with the wind off the water. Lots of clouds around tomorrow, maybe a glimmer of sun here and there. Not looking at a bright and sunny afternoon, but it'll be quite mild. 52 in Barville, Situ at 52, Johnston now 52 over in southeastern Mass. Temperatures also topping out in the lower 50s. Let's take you right there into Foxborough. We are expecting temperatures at game time around 51 degrees as the Texans take on the Patriots. Uh, it'll be mainly cloudy. Looks like it'll be dry. Winds from the south west 5 to 10 miles an hour stays mild for Monday with a chance for some rain showers uh, during the day. Tuesday day looks dry Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, maybe a little bit of a mix of rain and snow should be light. Shouldn't be a big deal, at least at this point in time. And then it gets a little colder as we head into the latter mm. part of the uh, <laughs> upcoming week. But mild weather for the next couple of yeah. days. You go into the Pats game, not going to be freezing, which I guess, I don't know, depends on how you look at it. Could be good for the Patriots. Yeah, uh, maybe. But mild, <laughs> They're used to playing in a dome, right? That's true. Mild nonetheless. Though. All right. Thanks so much, TJ. Well, coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, the new